Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video about what's going on with Chrome. Recently, Chrome released a new version of the browser called Chrome 56, which is available today. You can actually upgrade your browser if you update the browser via the about screen. Now, Chrome 56 comes with a lot of new features, and I want to go over a couple of them just so you can check out what's up with the new browser. So the first feature that it's releasing today is called position sticky this is a feature for me as long as i have been a developer it's something that i've been trying to do many many times and it's always not as trivial to do because you always have to do it via javascript to always place an element in a sticky fixed position when it's on top of the viewport now this is not an easy thing to do right now so chrome dev team created this new feature called position sticky now this uh, exists before but they removed it so this new feature will allow you to quickly and easily sticky your element on a screen so i want to show you an example of what this means so let me go to jsbin and create a very simple site right now and it's going to have a couple of elements and I want to show you how you can use position sticky to stick it to a page now I just want to set up some background elements so I can you can easily see it so it's going to have a h1 and a p tag and about 10 of them so I'm just going to style it a little bit Now in the content area, I'm just going to put everything inside of a container div. And then within each div, I'm going to create a H1. It says this is a title. And then a P tag. So I'm lazy, I'm just gonna use bacon ipsum to generate some dummy text. And I'm going to paste it inside the paragraph tag. Okay, I'm just going to copy this a few times. Now what I want to do is to, on the right side, if I scroll this down, I want the H1 to sticky when it's on the top of the page. Now to do this, all you have to do is do position sticky, and you always need to give it a top. Now I give it a top zero. This means it was sticky when it's on the top, zero pixels to the top. You see how easy it is? This is very, very nice. And if you want it to be a few pixels down, you just give it a few pixels down. Now the next feature I want to talk about is the Bluetooth API. The Bluetooth API is very, very nice that within your browser, you now have an API to connect to a Bluetooth enabled device nearby. So you can imagine the possibility that this opens up for you. The other thing I want to do next is the security HTTPS connection. Now this one will force a lot of people to move their website to a secure connection. If you ever need to enter a form or a login on a website that doesn't have HTTPS, Chrome will throw a message pop-up not not a pop-up but next to the url bar it will say this connection is not secure so this will really encourage the adopt adaptation of https among the internet so i'm really really looking forward to this happening and chrome is doing a great job to move this forward the other feature that uh, TechCrunch reported was that there's going to be a faster reload when you reload the website in fact it's going to be 28% faster as you can see in a video which accompanied this article you I will link to it in the description below where you can see the speed of reload is now about 28% faster on facebook.com so it's a total it's a rewrite of how reload works it just basically won't reload everything but partially reload the things that matter and if, of course, if you always want to hard reload, there's the, the hard reload option for you. So I really hope you enjoyed this quick roundup of the latest feature of Chrome 56. And I'll see you in the next video.